We're here in front of the Zenith Aircraft Factory with the Stoll CH-750 Super Duty airplane and uh, along with Roger and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about the Super Duty and uh, what new developments there are. Well, we're here with the CH-750 Super Duty, our latest model that we uh, brought out last year at Oshkosh. And uh, the difference between the Super Duty and the 750 Stoll is the gross weight is 1,900 pounds and you can have a third person sitting in the back seat. And if you notice, uh, there's a lot more room in the back seat between the 750 SD and the 750 Stoll. There's a third seat back there. Um, oh yeah, we definitely see a difference, don't we? And we're adding quite a few new options to the kits now because of the SD. Um, we're adding a little bit more headroom in the back for the third passenger. And we'll show you that in a little bit here with one of our quick build fuselages. So we're in full production on the Siege 750 Super Duty. Um, this is, we have two displays of the quick build fuselage kits. Um, the major differences between the, the Super Duty and the ST Stoll is the back seat area. We now have an option for uh, headroom. We're going to have a, a, a raised roof here for more headroom. Um, the firewall is a little bit more different. It's square because it's going to handle, you know, the 0360 or bigger engines. Now the fuselage itself is very similar otherwise to the Stoll 750 and the, and the 750 Cruiser, is that correct? It is, and it's, you know, I, I'd say 90% basically the same. Um, the only difference is now we're going to incorporate in the 750 Stoll is we're going to have all the controls right down through the center, which makes it nice and cleans up the whole area. Uh, instead of having the, the large seat bottom, we're going to just have the small seat bottom here. Now tell me about the uh, differences on the, our, our demo airplane here. We have the unpanel installed. Now here I see we have a traditional instrument panel installed in the airplane. Tell me about that. Exactly. Um, I get a lot of customers, they'll see or go up for a flight with me in our Super Duty and they'll see the unpanel, which you see over here is just a flat screen and there is no instrument panel in, on, on the front of it. And that's really quite an innovation, but the, the big thing, I guess, is that that is not the standard setup. That's for those that want to uh, innovate with that kind of thing. Exactly. And uh, for the more conventionally minded, I guess, the traditional instrument panel is uh, what we're supplying in the kit, a standard. Is that correct? Exactly. This is going to be the standard panel. You can go with the standard panel, or you could even go with the cruiser panel that comes clear out to the uh, cabin frame, or the unpanel. So there's all kinds of options here. Right, and the standard panel that comes, you know, it really still maximizes the visibility. This is the side of the cabin area right here, and you've really got this area, so you've got this little recessed area here. So it really still provides for awesome forward visibility. Exactly. And, you know, I get customers all the time, why would I want to go with a quick build fuselage? Well, it's going to save you about 250 hours of build time. No, it's not difficult to build, so I strongly, you know, recommend that, you know, if you just want to jump start your project, that uh, a quick build fuselage is the way to go. As a standard kit on this airplane, it's still very much a what we would call quick build in many respects, isn't it? Oh, Using it, the, the final hole match drill technology, isn't it? It is, it is. Everything's uh, drilled, laundrons are cut, pre bent, drilled. Uh, you're basically just assembling part A to part B and then start riveting. And I know one of the big advantages with the, uh, with the quick build kit is that you can put the engine on the or the, the airframe on the gear right away, start installing the engine, start working on the instrument panel and so forth. Isn't that right? That is correct. And that's a nice process, you know, to get the fuselage 100% and then you can go back and build your wings. Um, we're adding a lot of, you know, new parts to the, all our Zenith uh, models. Uh, nice new cutouts, uh, more finished trimming parts. Um, it's just looking very, very professional. And then, you know, that's one of the advantages of a kit airplane is that we can continuously improve upon the, the, air, the design and the kit. So that it's definitely something we try to take advantage of. Exactly. And, you know, we take a lot of inputs from our customers, too, for new, improved ideas, you know. And uh, so how would a customer go about getting a quick build kit? Uh, they, I would like for them to come to the factory. They come to the factory, give a, a tour of the factory, go up for a demo flight, and then I can show them a quick build. Or they could just visit our website, which is zenithair.com. And uh, pretty much, you know, the, the quick build kit meets that 51% rule without a problem. It's still well under the 51% for the builder. Isn't oh, it? definitely, definitely. There's still a ton of work to do in the rest of the airplane to meet that requirement.